everyone. So, here's another review video time. So, this time is a oscilloscope, is a digital storage oscilloscope, is from Handtech. This one is the DSO2D157 model. I believe it comes with a TFT LCD screen. Okay. And it can go up to 150 megahertz uh, bandwidth and also 1 gig assemble per second. It's kind of quite handy tool and is a really important device that every electronic lab should have one. So I just got mine. So it's a time to open it and see what's inside and try to review it. Okay, let's start it. Okay guys, so let's try to open it and see what's inside the package. There we go. So first of all, you can see there's a manual and I guess there's a baking list. See one. Okay. There's a manual and some documents here. Here another manual. I believe. Oh, this one for the pro. Come with a one probe with a one time one time ten probe. Let's see. It's upside down, okay. Mm, there's something here. I don't know what is this. Kind of looks like broken. USB B cable. Mm, these are the probes. Mm, kind of mess. But let's see which one's which. So these are the PNC to crocodile clip uh, pro. So this is one. Here are another one, PNC to crocodile clip two, and here is our probe. Time one, time ten, probe, 150 megahertz. If it can focus, yes. Focus. Here we go, 150 megahertz for this probe. Here is the power cord. Mm, what else? Here is some ring and some small screw to change the attenuation of the probe with some uh, colorful ring to identify the channels. And here's the oscilloscope. It's upside down. Here we go. Let's take this one down. We don't need this. Okay. Here it is. Looks nice. Looks kind of big, decent uh, size. Okay. Take out this. Nice protection, also. Nice packaging. I like it. Okay. So this is our oscilloscope, looks nice, kind of big screen. Hmm. We can see here from behind, we have a USB B cable, I'm not sure for what this, maybe for software upgrade or for downloading the screenshots. We got the power input. Got a big handle and down there. Also, I can see we got the legs, the thing legs. Okay, here we go. Looks nice. Let's have a closer look. Okay, guys, so let's have a closer look on this brand new oscilloscope. Looks kind of rather nice one. We can see here is a Handtech module, um, sorry, Handtech brand with a module DSO 2D157. 
one five okay come with rather large LCD display okay this come with 150 megahertz and one gig sample per second okay from the first glance you can see we've got two channels oscilloscope with the one either external trigger or function generator also very useful and handy to have a function generator we can see here the layout of the vertical adjustment here the vertical vernier okay the voltage and the position and here we can see the horizontal you might think that this uh, knobs are for the function generator, but no, actually they are for the horizontal, this one for vertical. Function generator is somewhere here. Yes, this is the wave gen and the pulse. This is the trigger group. Okay. This is for the multi-choose menu. And you can see here most of the rotary encoders are pushable. These all are pushable, only for the voltage they are not. Very nice layout, very straightforward. Also got nice clinky push button. And yep, so it means got no soft power up, but just like totally disconnect the power from the oscilloscope, which is nice. Got the USB stick place where you can save the Waveform, fast waveform capture, wave gen. Okay, got the key for the functions. Looks nice. Here, I believe, or channel one, channel two activation for the math. Oh, got the mathematic mathematic functions also. Okay, here is also another button for the triggers whether you want to run continuously auto or single run following the trigger okay so now let's hook it to the power and see how it's run for the first okay, time to power this oscilloscope first we need to take the power cord this guy here up it up then from behind there should be a place where to put the power there we go need to go here So this one should go like this. Mm -hmm. Nice. And this one need to go to the power. Okay, it's been already connected to the power. Let's see. The first time boot up. So click start. There we go. Looks nice. A lot of color buttons here. Hand tech, your test solution provider. Here we go. It's booting up. Wow, it's kind of fast. It's fast. Booting. Okay. It's up. We cannot see any signal because all of the uh, channels I believe is off. Let's activate channel 1. There we go. Channel 1, channel 2 should be on at any time. Yes. With the position. Yep. Channel 1, channel 2. Let's try to hook something. Let me take this one. This guy here. Take it connected to channel one. Try to touch it, make any signal. Yep, there we go. You can see it. Let me put on the square wave. I believe this is square wave. It's given Why? Let's turn off channel two. We don't need it. Here we go. This one, I believe the voltage is too low. Look is the voltage. Here we go. Now we need to horizontal reduce it. Here we go. Oh, uh, square wave nice and this square wave it looks like it's at 1k 
1 kilohertz. Let's see if we can read the frequency of this um, frequency. Actually, this is the first time I turn on, so I'm not sure how to display the, the, the measurements. Um, measure. Oh, here we go. Any frequency? Yep, frequency. One kilohertz, exactly. Very, very uh, correct and exactly spot on on the frequency, which is 1K. That's good. Okay, guys, so this is the first time power up. So I hope in the future we can use this to troubleshoot our circuits and it will help us to see more details of our outputs and our signals throughout the circuits okay let's test out the function generator take out the measurement i'll take out okay measurement is gone now function generator how to play with a function generator let's use this guy here now we connect it to the function gen now we take, let's say only the positive, sorry it's not for the camera, only the positive beam. Negative no need because it's still like internally connected, I believe. So let's say that a wave gen. Hmm, wave gen is on, but no sign. Is a sensor that is a sine wave 30k but nothing. Duty cycle. Modulation, why got no signal? Sine wave, all this, okay, let's see, what's a burst? End cycle, infinity, hmm, okay. Why we can't see any signal? It looks like he's running. Maybe the voltage is too low? Hmm, weird. 30 kHz. Oh, amplitude 30 milli. Let's try to increase the amplitude. Yes, here we go. Actually, the amplitude is too low. Ha, huh, no problem. Okay, so now we need to open the time. Let's see our waveform. Here we go. This is our beautiful signal. 6.2 volt peak to peak i believe as amplitude now we need to check the frequency frequency is set to 30k but we need to measure it we go to measurement again measurement there we go 30k exactly nice and here you can see that there's a bunch of measurements you got like frequency minimum v base pre shoot for all these measurements like wow width Pre DRMS, VM, LRF. There's a low duty cycle, FOV, FRLF. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. But how if I don't want to display all, I just want, let's say, like specific measurements? Hmm. Measurement channel one type DVM. Oh, got the digital voltmeter also, some more. We'll try it later. So if we clear all, you go to type. Uh, okay, I can now I can use this mm, knob. I want to say only the frequency. Yes, I want the frequency. So I hit enter. Here we go. So now I display only the frequency. Yep. So from here we can display only a single measurement that we needed to focus on. Let's say now I want to display the V peak to peak because from here V peak to peak is 6.2. Let's say it can read it or no. So measurements, go to type, okay, I start to get used to it. V peak to peak, yes, V peak to peak, should be 6.2, here we go, 6.32, no problem, no big deal. Okay, so now let's check the duty cycle, I believe duty cycle is 50%. Duty cycle 50, yep, duty cycle 50%. Let's see to how to measure or to add the duty cycle. Average, maximum, minimum, period. Is it period mean the duty cycle? Could be. 
should be duty cycle anyway. Let's see if we can find any other duty cycle. Overshoot, pre-shoot. Good plus duty minus duty. What does that mean? Let's see the period, what they mean by the period. Period, oh. But this period in seconds, I don't want the period. I want the duty cycle. Mm, pretty sure to be RMS average. Let's say plus duty. Mm, plus duty. What the minus duty? Looks like plus minus duty is the same. They refer to the same. I'm not sure could be wrong. 50%. Let's try to change the duties. I can understand what they mean by this. Let's go to duty cycle. Oh, I cannot change the duty cycle. I can check the impedance, I can check the modulation. Modulation off. If I want the modulation, here we go. It's, mo it's AM, I believe. Yes, it's AM modulation. Yes. It's AM modulation. Whoa, beautiful. Is that nice? <laughs> AM modulation, sine wave with megahertz, 100 hertz the modulation frequency okay can you change to fm whoa fm we need more time to see the one in between ah uh, fm like this should be frequency modulation should be changed anyway yeah Okay, so that's nice. Let's turn off this off. We go back. What else we can okay return? 50, but looks like duty cycles fixed cannot be changed anyway. Okay, let's try another. Maybe we go for what they call then the square wave or let's see let's see the signals they can be generated. We got a sine wave. Square wave, nice. Go tram. Exponential. Got some noise. DC. I believe this is just fixed DC output voltage. And arbitrary. I guess this one need to be set manually. Let's go for secure wave and we try to change the duty cycle. Yes, how only secure wave can be changed duty cycle. Weird. Anyway, 100%. Oh, this one, they calculate duty cycle for the positive and the negative side, but... Okay. Let's say if you want 80, so this one 80, the other one will be 20, so... For sure. The positive with the, with the negative will be 100%, isn't it? So, for example, 80 with 20 is 100%, which is representing the full duty cycle of one wave. Okay, looks nice. Hmm. Looks like we have a lot of things to experiment. We have a lot of things to check. So stay tuned for it. Okay, guys. See you.